Okay, so hi everyone. For um, the past few months, I've been obsessed with watching all of these Ancestry DNA videos and um, seeing what people get and um, reading the results in real time. And I thought it was so exciting. So I waited till Black Friday when they had their sale when it was only $69 and I decided to get it. So my mom and I got the tests and we were tested and um, after three weeks I got my results um, a couple of days ago. So I just wanted to give like um, I guess a rundown of the process or how long it took actually because that's something I really wanted to know when I was waiting. Um, I took it I sent my spit to the lab in Utah, and um, they received it after two days, and it, um, they sent me an email saying that it was received. Uh, I don't know how it got there so quickly, but this was before Christmas, like beginning of December, so maybe it was like, before the holiday rush. And then, um, think about... Nine days later, they said my mom's test was processing, and then ten days later, they said my test was processing. And then, like, just about two weeks later, um, we both got our results on the same day, within a few minutes from each other. So, waiting felt like a long time, but it really wasn't that long. But again, this was before, like, you know, Christmas. We sent ours in before Christmas, actually. So, I don't know how many people's kits they're dealing with right now, like right after Christmas and the holidays and that sort of thing. So, um, just to jump into it, um, my background, um, my mom is African American or Black American and um, my dad is Ghanaian. So, I definitely expected, like, at least 90% African on my test, of course. That's what I expected. And the majority um, for Africa, Ghanaian. I knew it would be that. And I was expecting something in the 50s. Like 50-something 50 percent um, in the Ivory Coast, Ghana percentage. And I got my results. And uh, as you can see, it says... 60% um, Ivory Coast and Ghana. And 13% Cameroon, Congo. 13% Benin, Togo. Um, 4% oh, um, and then the rest were trace regions for Africa. 4% Africa, Southeastern Bantu. 3% um, Senegal. Um, less than 1% Mali and less than 1% Nigeria. And for Europe, it was 5% Great Britain. Um, so there weren't really any surprises in my test. I mean, I've seen a lot of African Americans do this test. And for Europe, they had a lot of different regions. So I was surprised I only had Great Britain and not any trace regions or anything like that. But um, that wasn't really a major, like, shocking thing. Um, I was glad to have like 95% African. I, w I, I was, um, I knew it would be over 90%, but I was hoping it would be 95 to, um, 100%. But, um, yeah, I was really happy when I saw it. And, um, my mom also had a high Africa percentage, even though she's African American. She had 92%, which was higher than I thought she would get. So, I ended up uploading my results to um, DNA Land. And DNA Land gave me a lower African percentage. They gave me 92%, 86% um, West African. And um, of that, it said Lower Niger Valley, 48%, um, Mende Akan, 31%, Senegal River Valley, 7.1%. And then East African was 6.1%. And then the rest was um, West Eurasian, 7.8%. And um, 
I'm not going to read off all of them, but um, since I have the picture there, but uh, it was more European ancestry on this and less African ancestry on this. But um, I, mean, I still had significant African ancestry according to this website. And I also put my results on GED Match. Okay, so GED Match was really confusing and um, I'm taking it with a grain of salt. I don't think the sample size is very large. Um, they don't have my dad's ethnic group, the Ashanti, in it. So, of course, that didn't show up. I think they showed some ethnic groups that were closely related. Um, so I plugged in my results to different calculators. Um, I used the, the Punt DNAL KA African only. Um, even though I think that's for people who's like 100% African, but I did it anyway just to see what would come up. And um, for those results, let's see. So I said I was closely related to the Mandinka from Mali, and um, that was the first one. And it just shows um, all of these different um, groups that I'm, I'm closely related to. Um, none of them are ones I was really expecting, but again, I think it's just based on um, the people who upload, uh, uploaded their DNA that I'm closest to them. Um, and it shows like using one population, two populations, three populations, and then um, four populations. So from what I read, one population is like, I guess which one's closest to individually, two populations is like what they think your parents are, um, three populations, I'm not too sure what that is supposed to represent, um, but four populations, I think it's like trying to figure out um, your four grandparents, but I'm not too sure. I also used um, um, Punt DNA L um, K15, and um, that gave me the percentage. Um, Percentages, of course, West African is 81.86%, and um, it has all these other percentages. Um, I don't know what WHT Nile River is, maybe White Nile River? I'm not sure. 8.52% um, South African, 2.75%, and I think that's Northeast European, 2.56%. And, um, the group I'm closest to, according to this, is um, Bamon. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And um, with the two populations, um, uh, according to my DNA, they think I'm half African American and half Igbo. So they got half of it right. Not the other half, but um, you know that's okay. <laughs> and um, you have the three populations and then the four populations as well. Um, so it's just what's shown highlighted is I guess what they would think my four grandparents are um, based on my DNA. Another one I put in on GED match was um, Ethio Helix K10 plus French. I saw somebody say that um, it's good for people with um, both African and European ancestry. And I think the French is, well, it says on there, French acts as a proxy for European ancestry. So it doesn't mean you're French. It just, I think it's just your European DNA um, in that percentage. So, um, I entered it into that, and I had, um, West Africa, 60.28% was the highest. Eastern Bantu, 19.70 was the second highest. And then we have all these other percentages, uh, on this screen. 
um, which was really interesting. I wasn't really sure about all of the regions, so um, it was nice, like learning new stuff and googling it, and um, you know, seeing what it is. Even though I don't know like how accurate this is, probably not that accurate, but uh, it was still a nice learning experience. So overall, I thought um, this whole ancestry DNA thing was um, really accurate for me, um, as percentage wise. Um, I, I, if anyone's interested, I definitely encourage them to do it, um, especially when they're having a sale. Like the thing that kept me from getting it at first because I didn't want to pay the ninety nine dollars, and then it was sixty nine dollars um, on Black Friday, which was really cool. And um, I mean, yeah, my um, I know that my Ivory Coast slash Ghana score. Um, part of it came from my mother, even though she's African American, and um, that's what made it sixty percent because that was higher than what I was expecting. But um, my other than that, I mean, it was pretty much um, straightforward, mostly West African um, part, West and Central African parts. So um, I hope you enjoyed me rambling along. Sorry you didn't get to see my face. I, my webcam isn't working, but I've been sick and um, you don't need to see my face anyway.